Hi, everybody. Hey, Jeff. I tinkered with your audio of your video a little bit, so you're a little bit more understandable. Well, all things kicked off when Alex, Alex Bolton spoke up and, quite bravely in my opinion, called out Saitani Atheist for using Tommy Robinson as the voice of reason in one of his latest cartoons. Now, anyone can, you know, do an attack video on Josh Fernstein or something and get, um, you know, thousands of views, hundreds of likes and slap. You know, pat slapping on your back all night. But it takes a lot of guts to challenge a much beloved member of the atheist community. It also apparently takes a lot of guts to speak against Sharia zones and Sharia patrols. I mean, you can speak against Christian extremists all you want, Christian assholes all you want, and there's no problem. But the moment you speak against Sharia controlled zones and Sharia patrols, you're suddenly some sort of a terrible person. Especially in surrounding an issue like Islamophobia, etc. Now, the atheist community loved to, other people within the atheist community love to say to me, they're not Islamophobic and they're not bigoted. I'm quite willing to believe those people, because I've spoken to quite a few of them, and I, I, I don't think they are. I'm willing to accept. I'm willing to accept that. But, if I may, it goes to show how clouded your judgment is, let's put it that way, when you start defending Tommy Robinson. I know he makes a great play of not being. Uh, a racist, etc. Makes a great play? Hamburger helper, helper, hamburger helper, make a great deal. Yep. Look, there are a lot of people out there who are racists who support Tommy's message. There are a lot of organizations out there that want to stop religious extremism, want to stop Islamic extremism that end up attracting a number of racist people. That doesn't mean that anyone who joins those groups, those organizations, and then leaves because they don't like the racism that they see, it doesn't mean that those people are racist. So, perhaps you wouldn't accept that. Would you, would you take bigot? Would you take bigot over racist? Is that what the, that make you happier? Okay. No, that doesn't solve this. Okay, you are calling him bigoted and racist because some of the organizations that he's joined or is even co-founded have attracted racists. Let's, let, let's go for bigot. But Mark Anua said to me, um, I'm quite, I've talked to Mark about this and stuff, but all their issues, and, and I'm quite willing to accept he'd be the first person to step in. If he says somebody being racist, he'd be the first person to have him a slap. And I'm quite, you know... I'm quite genuine in saying that. But I think it goes to show how much this issue is crowded people, even very, very intelligent people like Mark, and decent people like Mark, how much this issue is crowded with judgment, if I may say so. Now, he said to me, provide some evidence that he's a racist. And if you prefer, we'll call him a bigot, okay? If you prefer that. Well, in 2004, he joined the BNP. Now, I know he claimed later that uh, I, I left because... I discovered it was full of racists. Why is that not a valid claim? Well, maybe he thought it was the Bangladeshi Necromancy Party, the Bristol Necrophiliac Police. I don't know. Perhaps he had a good bingo night on Wednesday and all of a sudden he was like, Oh my God! I don't know. Come on, Jeff. You're better than that. Perhaps he made a hideous, terrible mistake. Um, I've done stupid things in my past. What do you do when there seems to be no parties or organizations or groups that come together for a certain purpose that do not specifically say we don't want these kind of people in our group. Now, he then claims the same thing happened to him in the EDL. He joined the EDL and all of a sudden, do you know, I've got a horrible feeling I've done this again. This place is full of racists. Oh my God. Damn it. Now, I don't know what's next for Tommy. Is he going to join the KKK? Was the purpose of the BNP and the purpose of the EDL to be racist organizations? Or was their purpose originally supposed to be something else? And um, suddenly we're sitting there and go, green tea, anyone? Green tea. Um, oh my God, this place is full of fucking skinheads. Not again! Damn you, world! I don't know, maybe it's not the KKQ, the Ku Klux Klan, I don't know. So, Tommy Robinson, um, 
a lot of bad luck when it comes to joining societies. Or, uh, here's a big five pick. I don't know. Maybe. I know we started the British, I was a co-chair of the British Freedom Party in 2012. Didn't take, people didn't buy into it. People are smarter than that. And they made a big thing about, you know, it's not a bunch of colour, it's a British cultural identity, etc. It was extremely far right. Well, how about when he was threatened by a bunch of Muslims who went over to his house and when the police came, instead of doing anything about all the Muslims threatening him, the police arrested him. Do you think that's right? Then after they held him for a while, when he asked them, you know, what have you found out about, about these Muslims that were doing this to me? They hadn't looked into any of it. And because uh, they wanted to bring in black people and other and, uh, the Asian community and stuff to join them on uh, being big towards Muslims. Um, kind of, you know, I don't know. The liberal wing of, of, of the fascist movement. And uh, quite a quite clever tactic um, that's been used by the BNP and others of late. Now, um, they will switch their hate group. You know, used to be Jew, became unpopular, then it was black people that became unpopular, now it's Muslims, you know, it swaps. You know, as long as you get somebody to stamp your jackpot on, you know, everyone's happy. Now, poor Tommy, poor Tommy, the worst genre in the world, so you ask for some evidence, that's, that's the evidence I can present to you that he's, well, he's either a fucking bigot, on top of being a violent thug who can't keep him out of prison, he was all when he's in prison, he's a fucking unpleasant individual, but uh, this isn't the far past, you know, this, this is, you know, is it every year he gets arrested and put into prison? Uh, anyway, he's either a bigot or, uh, you know, really needs to look into the places he's joining first. As I've said, some of the places that he's joined were not originally filled with racists. And he hangs about a lot of fucking bigots, man. Do you know what I mean? So, birds of a feather, I don't know. It's like guilt by association. Yes, you're using the guilt by association argument. And it's it's not right, man. It's not right. You you can't just put guilt by association. I mean, you've done this to me in some arguments. I'll talk about some things and you'll put me into the category of people who are bigoted. I'm saying uh and you're going, "Oh, well, you got to be really careful." And it's like, "Why?" Guilt by association is not a valid argument. It isn't. You have to actually be able to prove that someone is bigoted or is racist or something to make that sort of claim. There have been points where you've said that I'm, I'm like a McCarthyism supporter simply because I think that people should have the right to film a public event. So, I mean... You know, a public event on public space. Oh, that makes me like McCarthy. It's like, uh, no. That's ridiculous. These sorts of t arguments you make and you do this on a regular basis are very frustrating. I really like you, Jeff. I really do. But the way you argue sometimes really sucks. Mm. It would be if you don't actually actively join and become a member of these things over and over and over again. So, What organizations are out there that are trying very hard to not invite racists into their midst who are trying to tackle the problems with Islamic extremists? There you go, Mark. That's my two shots passing your goal. I said I wasn't going to play this game, but I'll give you that. Unless you're going to claim... I'm pleased to that uh, the BNP aren't racist or that the EDL aren't uh, a bigoted organization. Uh, so, what is it? <sighs> Talking about jumping the shark, man, the atheist community has, I don't know, skied over the Megalodon? I don't know. Anyway, <sighs> stop moving to the right, everybody. People will support things that are normally associated with the right when the left becomes regressive on a subject. You know, Jesus, what's going to be next? Atheist for Trump? Anyway. That's already in place because so many people don't like Hillary. I don't like Hillary. Now, I'm not going to vote for Trump, but I'm probably not going to vote for Hillary. Hope you're all keeping well. It's a crazy world. Poor Tommy. He just, you know, he's no luck when it comes to joining things, has he? Adios. Adios.